Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. Finally getting back out to the range. I have a whole bunch of cool stuff coming up. Hopefully I can get to a bunch of it today. Starting off, I wanted to come out here and try out my Beretta 950 BS Minx, which is a 22 short pistol. And I have a target set up at about six or seven yards. I'm going to take some shots. What I'm starting off with is Remington 22 short golden bullet. And I've had kind of mixed luck with this stuff. I'm hoping that it works okay. But let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens here. I'm gonna shoot at the right target. No, oh, that was a light load. Shoot at the right target. No, oh, that was a light load. They're a little bit difficult to check malfunctions in. I had one round that didn't fully go into the chamber, but the nice thing is it doesn't go in the first time. You can just kind of put it in the chamber and you're ready to go for the next time. Oh, guess that one's a dud. Let's turn it and see if I can get it to fire on a different location on the rim. Yeah, so it wasn't a dud, but didn't want to cycle too well. Hmm. Well, so far this is not encouraging. That's the third kind of malfunction I've had in the first magazine of ammo. But again, it could be the ammo as well. So let's see if this round goes off. Yep. Well, maybe it's just the ammo. Well, I'm going to switch over now to some Aguila Super Extra 22 Short. These are copper plated. And again, Aguila has kind of been my de facto standard 22 ammo lately. It always seems to be very accurate, reliable. So this time I'm going to shoot at the left target. There is already one hole on the left target from uh, my SR22. But let's see what I can do with the Aguila Super Extra. Let's see what I can do with the Aguila Super Extra. Still, I had one round that didn't want to go off. Or did it go off and it just didn't eject? Nope, didn't go off. Let me grab that. Starting to think that 22 short is even more um, temperamental than 22 long rifle is. All right, that should be an empty magazine. Yep. That was better, still not great. And what I did try to do this time around was I thought maybe I was having rim lock of the rounds in these tiny magazines because the magazines are so small and the gun's so small. Maybe I was getting rim lock in the magazine, so I made sure I stacked them very carefully. So let's see if it does better this time, see if I can get through a whole mag. Much better. That was seven rounds, a whole magazine. And you get that ah, beautiful aroma of the Aguila. So let me quickly reload here and take two more magazine fulls, and then I will uh, probably end this video out just because I have so much to get to today. And the statistics prove that people don't watch my videos past about four minutes, which is pretty sad because, you know, I make it a point when I watch other people's videos, I try to get through the whole thing, even if they're 15 or 20 minutes long. But I think the world has such a short attention span now, people really can't pay attention for that long. But this is the Beretta 950 BS Minx, which is a 22 short. And again, cool thing about this, just like the 21As that I have, it has a tip-up barrel. So you can load your first round into the end of the barrel, close it, and then you load your magazine in and you're ready to fire. You're ready to fire.
you're ready to fire. And that last one did not eject fully. But, yeah, so uh, it's definitely not as reliable as a 22 long rifle, I can tell you that. Not saying something because 22 long rifle is not that reliable either, but. There's a reason why this is only meant to be a backup gun, and to be perfectly honest, it's not even that great at that. But, if it's something that can be fixed, you can bet I'm going to try to fix it. So that's a very short little video on the Beretta Model uh, 950BS Minx in 22 short. Thanks for coming out here to the range with me and uh, watching me fumble through another range trip with a little tiny pocket pistol. Thanks for watching. God bless America. Make sure you support your two-way rights. Get out there and shoot. Just have a great day.